which and I'm going to get lambasted for that. Trust me, I will. Uh, I'll get tortured by my team. Um, but um, uh, they're uh, they they were some of the inspiration for the idea. Like we looked at them and said, those guys were cool, but why did we do it just once? Like it was cool to do that, but now everyone kind of it had a lot of kind of broken mechanics to it. You'd save your you know, your MPU, you'd save your socket adding until you got just the perfect item. So, and that's not really fun. Like, you get a reward, you should be able to use the reward right away. So, some of it was looking at those characters and saying, how could we expand on that idea and, and really fix the issues with it? Okay, thank you. And will there be another possibility to name your items so you can crush your online prices for your items again? Um, We've kicked around not naming items because that's a can of worms um, in terms of, you know, people don't put nice words, do they? <laughs> they, and they figure out a way around the filters. So uh, we did talk about doing like some kind of a, a ability to put an inscription, like a personal note on them. Um, we may do that, we may not, we don't know. Okay, thank you. Um, any news about the hardcore mode, um, or do you have um, information about the requirements um, to create a hardcore character? Um, I'm sorry, the requirements for to create a hardcore character. Oh, to create a hardcore character. We even, we um, we're definitely doing hardcore modes. You can you can make hardcore characters, and they work like P2. They will they die. They die forever. Um, in terms of the requirements. We're not sure at this point. Um, we haven't made a decision about that, um, so I'm sure there'll probably be some kind of requirement. But we'll get into it once we once we get there. Any any features at the moment? Any features features for the hardcore mode beyond being able to go into hardcore mode? Not at this point. <laughs> um, you know, you can turn it on and you can die. Um, then you know that's that's feature. Um, but no, we haven't done anything specifically around it. Once we get into more core Battle.net, we may do something in terms of like how you're presented within Battle.net, how you're presented within the world. Um, obviously, if you make the choice to make a hardcore character and you manage to... Um, is it, hopefully everyone knows what a hardcore character is. In, in Diablo 2, hardcore characters, essentially, if they ever died, they were dead forever. They were just gone. So it was a really popular feature in Diablo 2, and we're definitely doing it. Diablo 3. Um, we definitely want you to show up in, prominently on Battle.net if you're playing a hardcore character so that people can see and go, wow, you're crazy. Thank you. Do the artisans actually follow you on the battlefield and do they even fight with you? Or do you have um, I don't know the English word, but you could hire Huntress to, to, fight, to fight with you and you have Diablo 2. So do you have a system in place for that too, to fight with an NPC character? Um, the, the artisans do not. Um, they are, they, they're lovers, not fighters. Um, so they don't, they don't go out into the world. Um, they do follow you though, um, as you move um, to different locations in the game. They essentially pack up their cart and go with you. Um, and you do get a, a whole cast of other characters that um, will go with you as well, but we're not talking about them today. Okay, um, and they, so you need to go to the city again to sell your items? Yeah, there's, a, there's always a central location in, uh, as you move from location to location throughout the game that you go back to do and interact with um, your artisans and sell items and access your stash and, and do those kind of regular activities. Will, will there be a town portal system like in Diablo 2? Uh, no, there won't be a town portal system. Um, we are doing um, waypoints like in Diablo 2. Waypoints are more frequent than town portals, but it's been our goal to get rid of town portals because they're pretty much a, a, they're a horrible combat exploit. Um, you can cast a, a town portal. The way town portals work for those who maybe didn't play Diablo 2 was you can cast them wherever you were and essentially create a little portal that lets you go back to town. Um, and the problem with that was it became a crutch, like you cast them and to get out of a bad combat situation or to, um, if you had a boss that was overly hard, you 
Castletown portal, die, go back, come, you know, spawn in town, go through the portal, die again. Um, it created a lot of kind of bad design. It also created um, uh, a lot of bad combat exploits. And it hurts class design a lot when essentially the players can rely on and lean on the system to as a combat um, escape mechanism when that was never what it was intended to be. So we removed uh, town portals and we're trying very hard to keep them out. It's one of the reasons that we added systems like salvage to the game. So as you go through, because you can't go back to town quite as often as you could be able to, we want to have a way to manage the items that you get. Because that's really the main reason people want to go back to town is to deal with their items. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, in your opinion, which one is the biggest improvement between Diablo 2 and 3? And sorry, the second question is, is there going to be any chance for Diablo 3 to be released in home consoles like the Xbox or PS3? Thank so, you. Um, I, didn't, I didn't catch the first question. Uh, uh, to all those uh, Diablo 2 fans that uh, right now are playing online, what, what would you tell them to move to Diablo 3? Why, why would they move to Diablo 3? Yes. Um, yeah. Well, I think there's an a enormous number of reasons. Um, the, uh, the look of the game, uh, updated graphics, the, um, I, I think the itemization is even better than Diablo 2, especially with uh, on, on the visual front. Um, the combat model is deeper. Um, the, um, new, there's new content to play, new classes. You know, I love Diablo 2, but I have played it quite a bit. Um, so we kind of, you know, we imagine people will be quite ready to play Diablo 3. So I could probably come up with a bunch of other reasons, but those are, those are a good collection. Um, in terms of consoles, um, we, we aren't exploring that right now. So um, do we imagine that Blizzard will make console games someday? Absolutely. Um, Diablo is actually probably one of the better games for um, consideration for consoles, just because the controls would likely translate. Uh, more easily than um, some of our other games, but um, we're not exploring anything like that right now. Thank you. So, uh, people spend a lot of time in the other two uh, by trying to get one item from one of their characters to another. Uh, how will you? Uh, React on this, like, uh, will there be a feature to uh, mule items from one of your characters to uh, another, and what will it be? Um, you don't like the Diablo 2 system? The drop it on the ground in a game, leave, get your character, hope the game doesn't close, hope nobody finds it. Well, what's wrong with that system? Like, that works great. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid, and, and absolutely. Um, we, there's a couple of ways we can, you can do that. Um, we could do a shared stash, we could do mail. Um, we'll pick one, we haven't picked one yet, but um, we can, we'll do one or the other. We're essentially, you know, once we get into real serious core development, development, that's probably the place where we'll make the decision of which system. Um, I probably lean a little bit more towards a shared stash because I think it's easy. Um, it's, it's the most convenient for the player, it feels, feels the best. Are we going to have a chat channels in Battle.net? Because StarCraft 2 has uh, no. Um, I do not know. I know chat channels is something they want to add, so w will it be there by the time we release? Uh, I hope so. Good. <laughs> so, any more questions here? Oh, two more. Thank you very much. Will the artisans have a level cap? Or, uh, I mean, will we be able to explore all of the of their possibilities of crafting, or will have to choose a branch? Uh, you can explore everything. Um, they do have specialties, but the specialties are not exclusive. Um, the only thing about them that 